Okay, we have been in White Oak Flooring in the House for Sale remodel project. So you see here we have Mitch and the Emma Mechanic have been working hard all day. We've got the flooring goes all the way down into the kitchen following a straight line. And you can maybe see how that is, but we have a perfectly straight line of white oak flooring going across through the entire house. So we have, uh, I think we put in how many bundles would you say today? Five? At least four bundles. Okay, so anyway, um, we just got to finish going into the rest of the living room there, and then we go the other direction, and when we change direction, we put the spline in the groove of this piece, and then go that way. Okay, so anyway, this is looking totally, totally awesome there's the old fur floors and this is the old fur floor in the kitchen spent a lot of time tearing up the old flooring and mastic and four layers of floor that was under there and then you can see here the bathroom it's going to go into the bathroom On top of the stairs we're going to put a uh, bullnose there and the uh, oak will go into the groove of the bull nose at the top of the stairs. Stove is going to go in there. Dishwasher here. I've got all new appliances. That's where the fridge is going to go. All stainless steel. So yeah, anyway, I am just thrilled with how nicely this is turning out. And when you walk on this, it is a it feels very solid and there are no floor squeaks the old floors had squeaks in them so we spent some time nailing down where the squeaks were and then we put this over that and it is just turning out wonderful okay so that is the update um, we'll probably have this and that we'll probably have the living room, dining room finish tomorrow and into the kitchen and then finish up on Monday. All right, um, so I hope you would be remodels, remodelers are enjoying this and we will see you on the next video. I'm gonna record the um, installation of the white oak floor in a time-lapse mode, one image every half second um, I should have started it a little bit earlier, but uh, I wanted to wait until we got going. So one of the things I did here is we have one course of wood that goes all the way through the house from the front door all the way to the back door. And what's nice about that, it is uh, it allows us to establish a perfectly straight line throughout the entire house so that all the flooring will be be exactly straight in line and so that uh, is just kind of a nice thing to have sometimes you have uh, uh, rooms that don't line up and so you have to do one room and then uh, into another room and you can get pretty straight but uh, it's nice to have an established straight line through the entire house and everything looks the same okay so we are nailing things down uh, I was very lucky to get any wood at all. Apparently, there is a shortage of hardwoods in uh, everywhere, and uh, most of the contractors that are installing hardwoods bought and paid for it a couple of months back, and they're taking delivery of that wood now. So fortunately, it seems that white oak, it's not as popular, and I'm not sure why, um, most people have the red oak or they go with some other kind of a like a hickory or cherry or all kinds of different woods bamboo 
but I do like the white oak, so I, uh, I'm, I am thrilled that we got flooring and that we are getting flooring installed. So we have, uh, you see the uh, thin sheet of paper down there, that's uh, got a little bit of a tar impregnation on it. It's called Aqua Bar, and it's just a moisture barrier between the new floor and uh, between floors. You know, anything under it blocks moisture. And so there are about uh, five courses in here over by the front door. And uh, you can see that it goes across the room there. And a couple of courses are coming up. Uh, they're playing catch up. And so what is going to happen here is uh, Mitch and the unknown mechanic are going to be feeding wood across and catching up on that far end. And uh, then they'll actually start uh, nailing wood coming back this direction and the reason they're gonna switch directions is because Mitch swings a right hand hammer and it's easy for him to uh, swing from this direction uh, easier than it is swinging going the other direction uh, just a little matter of preference and uh, so uh, Dave is uh, doing the uh, keeping the wood flowing for Mitch uh, he opens up bundles and aligns the wood and then he pre-selects wood so that uh, no ends are in line with ends uh, next to each other or within a couple of courses of wood he tries to get things staggered out and then uh, he takes a uh, uh, 16 ounce uh, regular uh, finish hammer and taps the wood into the the tongue and groove together sets the wood and then Mitch comes along with the floor nailer and hammers it and the floor nailer packs the wood together and uh, it uh, works out very well they have a good system going and you can see it right there Okay, so I am working in the kitchen. There is the, um, uh, I'm trying to get a straight line wood set up for the rest of the kitchen, but there is also a lot of extra work in the kitchen floor there where we tore up all the old uh, vinyl flooring. There were four layers of floor in there, and the last, uh, the bottom layer was glued down with a, um, a black mastic or, uh, um, cut back adhesive and it's been kind of a bugger to get out some of it came out easy and some of it just did not want to let go so we are uh, I'm going through there with a scraper and just kind of hand scraping and trying to get the last of it out and cleaning up everything so that the wood will go nicely in the kitchen um, uh, we'll be shifting camera views over to the kitchen here shortly. So right now I am moving the camera over into the dining room so that you can kind of watch the action from the dining room side. So you see we've still got uh, one, two, three, four, five bundles of oak in the living room floor. And then I think we have about uh, 10 or so uh, <clears throat> bundles on a little uh, moving cart in the dining room you see that piled up straight in front and a lot of that wood that's on the cart is going to be moved over into the kitchen and that'll be the kitchen floor and there's also under the camera you can just see a little bit of it right next to the garbage can there are four bundles of oak right there okay so the uh, the guys are moving along progressing nicely now I'm putting the camera in here for the kitchen view and uh, so I've been going around and making a mess trying to flatten out the floor make sure that there are no um, uh, bumps or anything to go over some of the cutback <coughs> some of the cutback adhesive excuse me had uh, an eighth of an inch or so of lift on it Huh, excuse me and uh, that's just not a good thing to have when you're trying to have a nice perfectly flat floor so um, I went over everything and uh, scraped it all out and made sure that everything was flattened out 
so I've got the uh, scraping done, and now I am just going through and vacuuming everything out. So I'm just kind of around the camp, uh, the corner back there, and here I come, just vacuuming, vacuuming, vacuuming. You want to make sure that you get all the dirt and dust up from the floor, and then after you vacuum it, you go over it with the broom, and you make sure that you get the nails, because the vacuuming quite often does not get nails or metal heavy objects. And so you want to make sure that you get all that stuff up and out of there. And uh, I believe I already did sweep the floor. That's why the broom is there, and I'm not using the broom. Okay, so <clears throat> I am uh, laying out the aqua bar, and what we have is you see that white spray-painted uh, line on the floor. Okay, well, in that line is where a string was, and so we paint over that, and it leaves a bare spot where the string is and white on either side of where the string was. So we have a good marking where the center line is, or the line that we want the wood to follow. And that line cannot change because it is painted on the floor. So there's no shifting or anything. It's a perfectly straight line. <coughs> So what I'm doing is I took some of the aqua bar and aligned it straight with that line and then I'm cutting it and then I'm going to take the cutoff from that and use it to finish up the area uh, where you see me working right now. And so I'm trying to be as efficient with the aqua bar as possible because uh, we've only got one roll of it and it is supposed to cover 500 feet. And that is basically what we have is about 474 square feet of flooring that we're going to do. Um, I bought 500 feet of flooring, so we have one extra bundle of flooring for any uh, errors and uh, waste. Uh, generally, we do not have waste when we do flooring because when we, uh, we floor across the room, and the last piece on the row is cut off and then that becomes the starter piece for the next row on the other side so it's a pretty good system that we have uh, we floor across and we have very little waste usually the only waste we actually have is because it's a manufacturing flaw so it's just a, a bad piece of wood that we got in the package and otherwise uh, we really have almost no waste when we do floors it's just um, you know you, you plan for it okay so I am laying uh, the flooring there and you see I take one piece there on the other side of the line and I use that as a straight edge guide when I join two pieces together. So you saw me put one piece and now I'm putting another uh, piece butted up against the one before it. And you see I've got two guide pieces in there now. And what you see me doing is I have uh, some knives and screwdrivers that I um, line the wood up to where I want it and then I pound the knife or screwdriver into the floor as a backer so that when I nail that uh, first piece with the finish nail gun with two and a half inch galvanized nails it will not shift off the line and uh, so that first course of wood is kind of a delicate one you have to watch it because uh, we're going to uh, we're going to put a spline in it. A spline is, uh, you have a tongue and groove, a tongue on one side that goes uh, into the groove of the next course of wood. But when you are reversing, then you have to have a spline so that you can put a groove against a groove, and then you have a spline between the two that uh, becomes a, the tongue between the two. And that is how you reverse a course of wood. But you see here how I've got those uh, screwdrivers and knives and stuff backing the wood. And then Mitch can take the floor nailer and nail in and set that wood. 
So right now I'm going over, there's a little bit of a hump, or not really a hump, but the back end of the house begins to slope downward at that point. We need longer pieces and to push down to make sure we span it flat correctly. So you just can't get good help anymore. I mean, they're both sitting there playing with their cell phones and just... You know, I tell, them to, I tell them to get, I tell them to get their asses to work, and what do they do? They sit there twiddling on their cell phones. Because you won't get off your friggin' camera and phone. <laughs> well, I'm getting there. Okay, so yeah, oh. cell phone shows a little bit different view of the flooring. Oh, that's hard on my back. Yeah, that so, looks really good, and there you can home. see the straight line all the way into the kitchen all right all right we have got the old flooring ripped up there has been a change of plans here where instead of doing snap lock floor we are just going to do a real white oak floor and so we tore up all the old three or four levels layers of vinyl and tile and marmoleum and what have you over the years and I bought 500 square feet of white oak so we are just going to go directly over the old fir floor and we will be starting over here so I've got my first row of uh, aqua bar vapor barrier laid out and our first one bundle of oak flooring laid out on it just for looks uh, but we'll start nailing in the morning it's dark outside right now um, it doesn't show up but it's dark so here are some of our bundles staged out ready to go and We'll just come from this end on over to here. And when we get to this point here, then we'll put spline in and we will, instead of nailing this way, we'll nail that way after the spline is in, change direction. And then we'll come over here to the kitchen and there is one course that will make it between the kitchen and dining room right there that one course right next to the door jam so um we'll be able to continue nailing flooring in from here on over but from the door jam going this way and around the corner to the bathroom We'll have to spline this whole thing and then floor that way. So we'll floor in under the stove and if I have enough left over then I'll just floor it in under the dishwasher. And um, we put a stair nose here. I'll uh, pull that out and prep the floor, uh, get it ready for a stair nose to go in there and then these boards will be going that way and they'll just die into the sternos okay so yeah exciting things happening here we've got uh, 25 bundles 500 square feet the house is about 474 square feet so we have a uh, little almost two bundles of extra wood and uh, then also we kind of figured the room's oversized too. So we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, yeah, so we got 12 bundles here. Uh, four more there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 4, 25 against the wall. Okay. So yeah, exciting. Um, tomorrow I will set up for time-lapse photography and we'll do a time-lapse floor installation there will be three of us working on it and it should be interesting all right okay so see you tomorrow and uh, have a good evening Friday night